Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show on Facebook, where we show you one cool thing we are testing out in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Michael Muchmore, and as always, we have Social Pete taking your comments, questions, and other things that uh, you would like to say to us. So please say anything you would like, and uh, Pete will call it out to us. Uh, today we are doing software, and today we are going around the world in 360 <laughs> with what is our product today? It's Power Director. It's a uh, Cyberlink Power Director 16, um, and Power Director and Cyberlink are, are always at the forefront of, of new um, video standards. So, so what they've done in the most recent one is support for 360 video content, like you get with those Samsung. Gear 360. I, I feel like isn't this like the isn't this the video editing software that was like bundled with my desktop PC in 2004? They've been along. They've been around a long time. And actually, it's probably the player software has been bundled with a vast majority of PCs uh -huh. in order because back in the days when you had to play a Blu-ray, you had to play a DVD, and Windows didn't have that built in. Uh -huh. They would always bundle pow uh, Cyberlink. That that's Power DVD. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So so this is. So this is a general purpose uh, video editing package with a specialty in 360. Well, no, this is this is an, a department <coughs> store of video editing. This does it all. Okay. Um, so it's got the regular time my, timeline mode here mm -hmm. is the standard video editors will be familiar with that. The storyboard mode, simpler, just have your clips arranged. Um, and they've got these simple things like slideshow creator, auto mode. Um, if you you can do it at whatever level you want. Mm -hmm. If you want just a no hand, no brainer kind of just throw my clips in, make a video, put transitions in, and all that, um, it'll do it. If you want to get in and tinker with time codes and and um, keyframes, you can do that. Um, oh man, I also <laughs> see how they support the greatest horror in modern video, which is vertical nine by sixteen yeah, video. I, I know. Oh my god. I hate it too, but you know what? It's the world has kind of moved there. We it, it seems like I, I, we now, haven't. <laughs> is there a way to is there a way to create a project which is in vertical nine by sixteen but gives everyone a light electric shock when they try to view it? <laughs> and then because they, maybe we need to like like cause some sort of like have some sort of like aversion training. And don't you love when they have like the blurry sides to fill out the widescreen? To, yeah, oh, yeah. But okay, okay. Awful. So. So back to back to how this works. Show us a little of how Power Director works, and let's talk about how it might work a little differently from um, from uh, Premiere or from Corel or from some of the Apple options. Right. Well, from the pro level, it's it's a little different from the pro level. It's it's similar in a way because see, you have you have a timeline, and I could drag yeah. these. You have a Anything timeline. Down to the timeline. You and, have your and, clips. And yeah. you know, infinity number of tracks. Um, I'm going to take that off. But I'm going to open um, a 360. And the way it's different is though, most time with the pro software, where should I point? Because <laughs> just point to, just point to, just, uh, just use your mouse to okay. point to the things, oh, I see, yeah. and then it'll S highlight it on the screen behind So with us. pro software, usually you're going to be trimming up here and then dragging down into the timeline. But here, all the trimming is done down in the timeline. That's mm -hmm. just one difference between this and pro so software. Um, but let me open, um, this is the cool stuff, the 360 editing. And Cyberlink Power Director was was the first there with th with just any support for 360 video content pretty much. But now in this latest version 16, they've added some pretty cool um, 360 editing tools. For example, you can do um, captions that will, and I'll, I'll just show you. Why don't I just show you? Let's just show you. You can do captions that are in 360 degrees and you can motion them around. Uh, recent files, 360 captions. Okay. Oh shoot! Do we have any questions out there yet? By the way, uh, Pete, I can't see Pete's uh, question flag because this computer's in front of it. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call out to him at random times. Oh dear! Oh no! We have a demo fail. Okay. Out of curiosity, I, is there a mobile I, like a stripped down mobile version of this or anything like that? Um, there I, there is a mobile app. Um, it's obviously not as powerful. Um, there's even a Windows Store app for um, of PowerDirector. Of course, it's much right, similar. Right, for more people who are lame. 
Yeah. yeah. Well. Uh -huh. um, why can't I open my sample project, which I just you, did like two minutes ago? You keep working on your sample project here. I so don't so, so this is this. the. So, yes. so this is really, if you have a Gear 360 Ugh. or a 360 Fly or one of those other 360 cameras, this can import from any of them? It does. Um, and if I can get this open, I can show you how cool it is. Um, well, let's see, maybe this okay. one will open. Uh, it looks like we have another question while Michael tries to open this. Can it be used to burn playable DVDs? <laughs> Of course it can. Yeah. There's a create okay. disc option that I kept on seeing Michael go past on his menu. All right, so here is, is a sample of Sasha. Is, hey! Um, and what this is, this is the small planet effect. Um, so so we've, Sasha's filmed himself in 3660, and it doesn't look so great when you have a building on the side like this, um, but actually... Uh, it's pretty cool if you've got like a field and sky in the background. It looks like people are walking around a little planet. Now, now this, this actually makes me think that about a year ago, I went through this big 360 phase when I was doing a lot of 360 recordings right. and posting things in 360 at Facebook and nobody seemed to ever engage with it, so I stopped. Is 360 still a thing? Is it more of a thing? What are, what are the trends in 360? Uh, because I, I feel like I feel like it, it might have been a little bit of a fad, like 3D. Um, I can't predict the future. It could just be a fad, and, and you know, a lot of people do think it's just a fad. But you know, there's this is enthusiast software. This is for the people who want to go out and try, you know, the cool new things. Um, anyway, I, I don't know why I can't. Open Can you put this. a 360 caption on it right now? Uh. Let's see. Oh, well, let's see. I have a lot of 360 co content here. Oh, okay. Um, well, you can't just put a 360 caption right on the, right on the clip that you have? Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, s sorry, folks. You look like you're being attacked by your gorilla pod here. Um, tools. Where's my... Uh, here's, here's the caption tool. Um, so where's the 360 things? Um... Sorry, guys. I haven't. I haven't really. Okay, so you've got three. <laughs> now, now, now. I saw 3D titles. This will also do 3D video it if does. you have a 3D camera still in yeah, the world. Yeah. Okay. I know. No one's really doing that much so, anymore. But all of your like avant-garde video technology styles, like this is the this is the yeah. System I mean, for it. they do HEVC. Any new standard you can think of, CyberLink uh -huh. Power Director is the one that supports it. Okay, um, so, so if your existing video application doesn't support some crazy codec or form of video that you're using, CyberLink might be the place to go to. Definitely, definitely. And, and even um, the iPhones now, they shoot in HEVC, but, mm -hmm. but Final Cut Pro does not support that yet. Okay. So you would have to, I, I mean, of course, you're probably going to be on a Mac. Does Premiere? Premiere Pro does. Okay. Yeah. Um, Premier Elements does not. So, so, so this. What is the price of this product, and how does it compare to? Because I know uh, video editing apps really scale up to insanely expensive. This is a ninety-nine dollar app, and it's a perpetual license, so that it's reasonable. Compares well to um, Premiere Pro. And you'll, if you wait a while, you you can find it discounted online. It's an online download, so. Um, I shouldn't say this, but like, usually like right before the next version's launching, you'll, you'll find deep discounts. And then do they have, do they then have a promotional upgrade price for the next version? Like if you want to go to 17, can you upgrade? Um, there, yeah, it's not a huge discount though. Oh, I don't know exactly okay. what it is. Okay. Yeah. And so now how does that compare to the price of Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or one of the, one of the, the they're, they're quasi the pro? Yeah, systems. so the, I would say Premiere, oh, a Pro. No, Pro, the real um, one. Well, Pro, you know, is a subscription. It's $20 a month. Okay. Um, now, Premiere Elements is probably the primary competitor for this, this one, and that's also 99 so they're, they're mm -hmm. on a level. But this really has a lot more features than, than Premiere and it has speed, too. Um, you know, one thing I look at when I'm testing video software is how quickly it... it um, Exports? Yeah, how okay. quickly it... Um, okay. Um, can you can you can you show us an export? Can we can we uh, can you open up a project and uh, export it to a final version? Well, if we we go over to the produce um, mode here, and here's all my export choices: XAVC, Windows Media, HEVC 265. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what an XAVC is. Let's take a <laughs> question. 
Does the program have any sort of tutorials to get you like into an up and running with this? Because it seems like it is. It does have a lot of advanced tools here. Yeah, they have like a whole website of tutorials and things. So um, there's like an online connection here that you you can um, you can sign in and um, get all kinds of tutorials and things. Yeah, and they've got good help too. I, I'm I'm you know a lot of the programs, especially like from Adobe. You have to go on the web and you have to like search the, the, the forums and things like that. Yeah. Base. This has a real good old fashioned help where every feature is explained. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And so now, um, and so now this is this is Windows only though. There's no Mac version. It's Windows only. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but you know, for I know for video editing, a lot of people use Macs, but. You get the advantage of, you know, if you, you build your system, you can load up all the graphics and... But also um, more and more people are moving to Windows. Yeah, I guess. For, I don't know. But, but for video editing, I think it's the advantage. Like, like with Mac, you have to buy a really expensive Mac Pro if they still exist or, uh, you know, or get a really expensive iMac to get now, a decent power. Whereas you could just throw in graphics cards. No, wait, wait. You're saying graphics cards. When I think of video editing on the PC, I think of it as, as a CPU, not a GPU it's based. It's both. It's technology. both. But they use, for, for, um, for the rendering, they, uh -huh. they will all use um, the graphics card to okay. speed that process up. Looks like we have another question out there. We have another movie burning question. Um, <laughs> How does this compare to Nero in terms of the speed to burn a movie? Who are you people who still have <laughs> physical disc players? You're like the physical disc dead enders, okay? Um, Rip your discs onto a hard drive, live with the hard drive, sell the discs at the thrift but store. But look, we've Come got on. this whole create disc module here. Okay. I haven't used it. Show us, really show us for these, but, these primitives. But look, you can make your own, uh, your own title pages and, mm -hmm. and um, chapters and all that and uh, burn a Blu-ray and all that. Um, speed, I don't really know. I haven't compared the, the disc creation for, mm -hmm. for a few years. Let, I, us I note, let us note, they do 3D Blu-ray, okay? <laughs> right. It will burn a 3D <laughs> Blu-ray for the yeah. six of you that bought 3D TVs four years ago. Okay, let me just show you one other new thing, um, which is this video collage. Okay. Now, now, really what it is, is it's just a picture in picture, mm -hmm. but they'll do some clever animation. So you can choose, are, are you showing the, the screen? Yeah, yeah, we're, we've got the um, screen. screen. So you can choose these layouts and drop in videos to each one, and mm -hmm. it'll sort of animate. So there's PJ. <laughs> so I can just drop my video clips into this template. Why do you have video with PJ? <laughs> because he's my only green screen, screen one. Okay. And so when I play it, I'm going to get this... Ah. Little animated picture in picture effect. That's kind of cool. And it's kind of taking off of like the Instagram, um, like those, those Instagram kind of, uh, you know, multi picture okay. Um, okay. collages. This is called a collage. Uh, what else? Oh, and one other new feature that is a nice feature is audio ducking. Does anyone know that's adding quacks to your, your soundtrack, right? I, I, no. I, thought, I thought you were just trying to say a word that uh, we're not supposed to say uh, for fear of getting cut no, off by Facebook. No, what audio ducking is, is if I have, you know, a lot of these, these templates will add music back background soundtrack. Right. Um, so what happens is I have a video and there's some people talking once in a while right. and it'll automatically lower the background music while talking. It'll identify mm. when talking is happening mm -hmm. in your main track and then lower the background music. And, and do other apps do that as well? They do, they okay. do. Um, but that's a little more of a pro thing. Um, okay. And some of the features, like, it's interesting, some features like motion tracking um, and like, like transparent t titles where I have my picture in the text of the title. Mm -hmm. that, it's like a me too kind of thing. I think the auto ducking was added to Premiere Elements, so, so now these mm -hmm. guys have added that too. But, but in general, um, I find like there's another one, Corel Video Studio. They're they're pretty good about adding new um, features. They were one of the first like with motion tracking, and they have this cool um, stop motion tool where you take your little mold object, mm -hmm. whatever, and it'll it'll just take you through the process of getting the, the shots to to create a stop so motion. So if you have video. a 360 camera, you go with Cyberlink, but if you have a box full of plasticine, you go with Corel. Exactly. Okay, okay. Thanks. So it definitely, definitely depends on your tools here, what editing software you're going to use. Do we have any other questions out there? Okay, so, so how did we, uh, how do you rate this? This is a 4.5 editor's choice. It has been for a long time, just because they have good speed in rendering and they keep adding the new features that no one else has. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. great. 
Okay, so uh, si so uh, Cyberlink Power Director? 16. Yep. Cyberlink Power Director, 16, $99. 4.5 stars editor's choice. If you have a 360 camera, most especially, this is your video editing software that you need. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. This has been One Cool Thing at uh, PCMag.com. We will be back tomorrow with another cool thing for you.